what's up guys, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and today I am reviewing, among many other things, the Blue Team Mongoose Deluxe Pack from Halo Reach Series 5. Comes with the Blue Mongoose, obviously, an EOD Spartan, pretty cool figure, with a rocket launcher. So pretty much this is a really nice pack all together, and um, I do recommend you get it. I'll just start off with saying that it's a really cool pack. So let me go ahead and get started talking about the Mongoose. That's French for mongoose, by the way. I'm just kidding, it's not. Alright, so same as always. Um, not too much to talk about, really. It's blue mongoose. Same mongoose as before. Nice dry brushing to, for some details. All the uh, decals on here, the UNSC logo, the other UNSC logo, MAAV-20, all over there, real nice. Um, the wheels are nice, solid rubber with some gray dry brushing on top of that for some detail no independent suspension they are independent but there's no suspension so it's just flexible plastic I would not recommend you flex that too much it feels like it'll snap off pretty easily same thing for the back don't don't play around with that it'll just break if you try to you know push down on it too much so don't do that the steering wheel or handlebars I mean it does move but just like all the other ones the wheels don't move with it so that's pretty stupid in my opinion could use some detailing in the dash panel no detail there a lot of nice detail throughout though so still pretty cool problem area though this little bike rack thing that goes up when you don't have somebody riding on the back if you just touch it a little bit it falls down so it's really loose I know a couple of you have had even looser ones than that I know uh, Commander Bakara has one that just doesn't stay up at all so I guess I'm lucky that it stays up if you push it all the way up but then you do have this panel that folds up or if you want somebody on the back you fold that down and fold this down and you can put somebody on the back there okay again like I said with the other mongoose review it still seems just slightly out of scale I know supposedly they're not they're taken directly from the game but I'm wondering if in the whole process of designing with the two ups and then shrinking them back down to the right excuse me to the right size I'm wondering if they maybe lost a little bit of size or tried to save money I don't know but there it is it is decent obviously there is the problem but it's still a really nice display piece and very cool the figure we get with this pack is the blue EOD looks like it has the commander chest piece I don't know what the name of these shoulder pads are but those are the pads he has he has the addition on the helmet, looks like a little rebreather type thing, almost like a stormtrooper or Darth Vader, but uh, that's what he has. Great paintwork as always. I can never fault them, at least recently, for their detail. It's just great. The sculpting is great. The paintwork's great. Absolutely wonderful. He's got the security, is it security? Grenadier? I don't know. I don't remember anymore. The big knee pads that George wears. So you can't go wrong with that. Very cool looking and uh, standard articulation everywhere. I'll do a quick rundown of it. Double ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, single jointed elbow, but it has a swivel built into the top and to the bottom of the joint. So plenty of articulation there. It is ratcheted. The shoulder is ratcheted as well. The wrist is ratcheted and it has the same joint as the elbow, only smaller. So you can spin it at the base of the joint and at the hand part and it has all the articulation everywhere so great move there no hand articulation don't really need it though same thing on this side no trigger finger but you can get his hand around put his thumb through that hole there and his hand through that part there for the rocket launcher there if you can see better that way and he can hold it pretty well moving on to the rest of the articulation he's got the swivel in the torso it's actually a ball joint so you can get some great posing out of there if you want to make them dance or do something like that. Some stop motion. I'm sure some of you guys out there could do that pretty well with these figures. For hip articulation, regular, similar to the ODST, but a lot less goofy looking. This part just slides forward and back on a swivel. And then this part is a ball joint connected to kind of like a hinge inside there. So the hip or the thigh moves around on the ball joint and then the hinge allows it to go in and out. The knee joint is half of what the elbow joint is. It has the swivel at the top there and the ratcheted hinge, but no swivel down here at the bottom. Okay. 
then the ankle is the same as the elbow and the wrist swivel at the top and at the bottom plus the ratcheted hinge so very nice array of joint there then of course just the regular old school ball and socket joint at the foot so this guy as is normal for the McFarland Spartans chalk full of articulation chalk full of detail chalk full of paint app you cannot go wrong when buying the halo Spartans they're just absolutely great figures and blue team and red team are must-haves in my opinion they're just awesome. On to the rocket launcher. Great detail on this thing. I'm not sure if it's the exact same paint app as we saw on the previous one. It looks like there's a little bit more black or at least a little bit less dry brushing perhaps. But it still looks great. As you can see it's got the yellow and black caution type painting on there. The caution tape stuff the cops use I guess. I don't know. It's on there. It looks great. Uh, the paint is not sloppy at all on this thing. Looks awesome. It's got the spanker lettering on there so that looks really well done there's even some more lettering on there I don't think that my camera is good enough to show that off this is just a um, pretty poor camera but I'm pleased with it so I'm not going to upgrade for a while because cameras are expensive anyway you've got a lot of detailing on there that you can make out I don't think you can on camera but in person you can so great detail work it does have the peg as always nothing moves nothing moves except this does extend just like in the game oops I extended it too far that's so you don't break it it does it's meant to pop out if you see right there it's got that little clip on there that's just to keep it from falling out on its own but anyway you can extend that just like in the game so I think that is a great little touch that they didn't have to do but they did and since it rotates it helps for him to be able to hold it stop doing that so extend it, rotate it however you want, and he can hold it very nicely. Great accessory. Absolutely wonderful. Very, very nice. So as is normal with the McFarlane Halo figures, I am not disappointed one bit. Very nice figure. Great paint app. Great sculpt. Great detail all around. Great value. Comes with a vehicle for $22. This articulation with a vehicle, you just can't beat it. You've got people like... Uh, Mattel and Hasbro, which I obviously collect as well, selling figures for fifteen or sixteen dollars that don't have anywhere close to the amount of detail. Sure they're a little bit bigger, but look at what you get for twenty two bucks right here. You cannot go wrong. So I definitely recommend you pick this up. I know I say that a lot, especially about the Halo stuff, but it really is worth it. You cannot go wrong. So thanks for watching. This is my last review for the day. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed what I've done. And uh, look forward to what I do in the future. I don't know what I'm doing next. I have a whole bunch of stuff on order from BBTS. But it still hasn't shipped. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the new videos that are to come. And in the meantime, keep collecting.